More than 80 families in the East Valley have a new home tonight. An apartment complex aimed at local farm workers opens its doors. KMIR News at 6 starts now. Good evening, this is your KMIR News at 6 and streaming live on KMIR.com. I'm Elizabeth Bobian. And I'm Gino Lamont. Valley farm working families have a new nice place to call home. The ribbon was cut on the first phase of a community called Via Hermosa. And when it's completed, it will completely replace the Fred Young Labor Center housing complex. KMIR's Kitty Alvarado was there today and has more about the big celebration. Kitty. State and federal officials were in the valley today to participate in the ribbon cutting ceremony at the new Villa Hermosa apartments. 85 families have already moved into the low income housing. I met one family who tells me it's been a long time coming, but they finally feel at home. Aurelio Madrigal and Amelia Guzman look out from the back patio of their new apartment. They only moved into Villa Hermosa apartments in March, but they already feel at home in their almost 900 square foot two bedroom place. It's much prettier here. They are one of 85 families who moved into the first phase of a community that will eventually house over 250 farm worker families. What we finished developing here is housing for folks, farm workers who've been living in the Fred Young farm labor camp for years and years and that's a place that really should be demolished. Now retired, Madrigal and Guzman worked in the fields for years and have lived in the labor camp for more than a dozen years. We had to cover the door with bags so water wouldn't get in. They were fine too except when it was hot it felt like we were in an oven. Local, state, and federal officials held a ceremony officially welcoming them and the others home. They call this an important project. One of the strengths of this country is we are a democracy. And for a democracy to flourish, everyone has to have opportunity. People who live in the farm labor camps are hard workers. They come here to do work that other people don't do. Many of them have lived here for generations now. But what we do see is they care about their children doing better. The couple showed me where they used to call home. It was emotional for them. Their old home is now abandoned and will soon be demolished. They're grateful and look forward to making new memories in their new home. We're going to live more comfortable here, God willing. May God reward you. The total cost of the project is over $22 million. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says they hope to also help families start their own home businesses. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kitty Alvarado, Gino Elizabeth, back to you. All right, good to see you. Thank you, Kitty.